And we uh, hope that your morning commute will maybe a little lighter this morning because right now thousands of Coloradans are getting into gear for bike to work day, leaving the car in the garage. That's right. 7 News reporter Amanda Zitzman is live at Civic Center Park where one of many bike stations is set up to welcome all the riders this morning. Amanda? Well, things are officially underway right now. As we speak, a lot of cyclists are starting to arrive. If you take a look, you can see everyone's coming out here. They're getting their free breakfast, their free coffee before they make their way to work this morning. We expect about 1,000 people to show up here, but about 30,000 to participate in Bike to Work Day overall. Now, I want to bring in Emily Snyder with Denver Public Works to talk a little bit about the city's involvement. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out and supporting us here at Civic Center Bike to Work Day. So tell us about what the city is getting, uh, doing today for Bike to Work Day. Sure, so um, this is our Denver Public Works Civic Center breakfast station. Um, we've coordinated about 30 to 40 vendors here, giving away breakfast items, information about safe bicycling in the city and how to get on your bike and make it into work. Um, we're very excited to have over about 800 to 1,000 people show up today and learn more about how to bike to work. And what you have in your hand is actually a new bike map for the city that people can come check out if they come to Civic Center. It Park. is. Denver Public Works has just um, released a new edition of our bike map updated with all of our 168 um, on-street miles of bikeways as well as our off-street trails. We have a limited edition here today and we'll have more at uh, rec center, city council offices come July. Now, if you at home participate in Bike to Work Day, it's really important to register. We have the site linked on our website, thedenverchannel.com, and the reason for that is because today actually supports a lot of bike infrastructure programs. Tell us about some of the stuff you guys are working on. Sure. Um, we have a lot of exciting things going on here at the city. We're going to be adding um, over sub 17 miles of bike lanes onto our streets this year, as well as we have two protected bike lanes coming into downtown. So those um, bike lanes where you'll feel, uh, see a vertical separation between you and that uh, car lane right next to you, as well as we're going to be opening a big piece of infrastructure, our Colorado Bicycle and Pedestrian Bridge over I-25 to a bridge between two um, communities and a light rail station. All right, Emily, thank you so much for thank joining us. So it was great having... to talk with you. And if you are heading out on your bike today, there are more than 200 stations all across town. We have all the information for you on the denverchannel.com.